Hello and welcome to the first statistics lecture. Because this is the first lecture, we're going to be starting off with some of the most basic concepts. And right now I'm going to teach you about descriptive and inferential statistics. So first of all, what is statistics? Well, statistics is the science of collecting, organizing, and analyzing data. Data being facts or pieces of information. Now I'm going to give you three examples of data, like the ages of students in your statistics class or the genders of the last eight people to walk by, or even five randomly measured IQ scores. Basically, any information you can collect is data, and then, you know, you'll eventually do math with that or something. So when people talk about statistics, they're usually talking about two main divisions. There's descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics consists of organizing and summarizing data while inferential statistics consists of using the data you've measured to form conclusions, usually about other data. Now I'm going to give you an example of these two things. So like, let's say there are 20 statistics classes at your university, and you've collected the ages of the students in one class. And right below I have, you know, 15 ages that you have hypothetically collected from different people in your class. A descriptive question that could be asked about this data is, what's the most common age of student in your statistics class? which, you know, in this case would be 18 because you have the most 18s out of everything. And an inferential question that could be asked about this data is, are the ages of the students in this classroom similar to what you would expect in a normal statistics class at this university? See that the first one is just asking us to describe data, while the second one is asking an additional question about that data. Now, the data you get will be drawn from either populations or samples, usually samples, but I'm going to explain both. Now, the population is the group that you're interested in studying, and the sample is a subset of that population. Basically, your sample comes from the population, as shown in the diagram below. So, like, let's say you want to find the average GPA of a student at your university. Your university has 20,000 students, and you randomly select 100 of them and ask them what their GPA is. In this case, the group that you're interested in studying, your population, is that 20,000 students, and your sample is that smaller group of 100 students that you've taken from the population. And for the first video, that's all I really want to talk about. I want you to have a strong idea of what statistics is and, you know, a vague idea of what data is. Know the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics. And know the difference between populations and samples, but also how they relate to one another. Basically, that samples come from populations.